Rated M for Mature. Yo, it's me, Jess, and I'm Resident Evil 3. Roll the intro! My name is Jess, and he likes to play games! My name is Jess, you saved my life. Another day, another remake. This time we're going back to Raccoon City for the full-blown redo of Resident Evil 3. Now last year's remake of Resident Evil 2 was top-notch and became an instant favorite, so I'm really eager to hop back in for another two scoops of survival horror. Or is it three scoops of survival horror because it's part three? Or maybe it's, whoops, all survival horror. Eh, whatever. Now, I know what some of you were thinking. Jess, I don't know anything about Resident Evil. Would you kindly fill me in before I continue watching your effervescent video, preferably in a montage filled with your signature nonsense and rubbish? Well, of course I will. It'll be my pleasure. Resident Evil. A giant conglomerate called Umbrella develops bioweapons for the government. Imagine if Johnson & Johnson was like, Yeah, we make baby shampoo, Tylenol, band-aids, and we heard the army wants deadly lizard men, monster dogs, and a giant monster shark. Whoopsie daisy, we made zombies. Sorry, my bad. It's 1998. People are getting mutilated and eaten in the outskirts of Raccoon City. The cops send in an elite unit to investigate. Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Stars. And the majority of them die, killed by a parade of monstrosities. Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine are left behind by a helicopter pilot named Brad Vickers, and then they discover an old man which hides a secret research facility for Umbrella, which is now overrun by zombies and bullshit. Chris and Jill kill some monsters, solve some mysteries, and escape with a few teammates, including Brad, who totally redeems himself by dropping a rocket launcher and coming back to pick everyone up. Resident Evil 2. A few months later, the Umbrella Oopsie Daisy zombie outbreak leaves the outskirts and infects all of Raccoon City. Umbrella's like, we need test data. Quick, throw some of our bullshit monsters in the mix. Right when this starts, Claire Redfield comes to town looking for her brother Chris, this guy from part one, and meets a rookie cop named Leon Kennedy on his way to his first day of the job. And they have a fucking rad adventure. But just before any of that happens, Resident Evil 3. Jill Valentine has been investigating in Raccoon City to find hard evidence that Umbrella has been making monsters in the basement and finally bring them to justice. And Umbrella's like, we have a surprise for you. And there you have it. Whew. You're cut up. I'm cut up. We're all cut up. Now I think it's time to dive into Resident Evil 3 with me behind the wheel. What are we waiting for? Let's mount and do this. Roll the game footage. Uh, she must have sent NyQuil, the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so you can kill the living dead medicine. Ooh, CDs, because it's 1998. What you got there? Some silver chair? Candle box? Where here and the dogs do find her? I think I went back too far, but I'm pretty sure she's still listening to that. To this day. No, oh, no, she's down with the sickness. Wah, ah, 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 ah. I don't know if y'all knew this, but Jill invented the internet makeup tutorial. Just put on this foundation and concealer and you're gonna look amazing. Like and subscribe. Seriously though, like and subscribe. Oh, Barry, no. Too many pills. Ooh, Jill pills. Too many Jill pills. Ooh, what do we got in the fridge? We got OJ, soda, purple stuff, Sunny D. Oh, hello. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Giggle, giggle, jiggle, giggle. Joe Valentine Barbecue, you kill it, we grill it. Hello? Jill, are you, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Brad? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Okay. Oh, shit, here we go. Oh, yeah! Typical bro move. Getting mad at phone calls, punching holes in the drywalls. Oh, you dick! Now I'm not gonna get my deposit back. I think you put your clothes in your motorcycle. Mm, the face. Ouch, give her the full core press. No, you ruined my vision board. Come back, my lady. I just want to tell you how much Star Wars sucks, but I still watch it. It's peach clobbering time. Ooh, the free delay scoop. That's not my hand. I want to ride. Rock! Ow. Do you know what Nemesis means? Power wave! Whoa. Oh, what a feeling when you're tearing up the ceiling. Oh. Yes, I've been plowing. Chasing Jill all night long. Oh, I get it. This is social commentary, and it's all about gentrification. Jill? Over here! Brad Chickenheart Vickers, you son of a bitch! How could you turn me? How could you turn me? 
could this many people be infected? Eh, socialism, eh. Run! Here they come! Oh shit, they're doing parkour! Parkour zombies, run! In here! This is the year I conquered the warped wall. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, Bar Jack Horseman. Quick, where they had the booze? Oh no, not Brad Chicken Heart Vickers! <laughs> they bit me in the bitty crackle fruit gushers. <laughs> don't think about it. You don't think about it. This shit sucks. We're gonna make a run for it. Dan and Dash. Oh, we know how this ends. No, I don't. I do. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I did. Go! Yeah, don't fuck up like I did. I spent six years in community college studying Greek philosophy, and my arts degree is worthless. Witness me! Ooh. That's okay, I wasn't using it anyways. Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, brah, let's go for a taco run, brah. I need maximum snackage, brah. There it is. Uh-oh, no, fuck this, I'm out of here. Sir, oh, hello. Uh, stay back. Don't come any closer. No, six feet, social distancing. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. The only safe place. You're trying to steal my steakums! Get out of here! Skip that. Oh, you don't need whipped cream to go with that jelly? Yeah, Steven Tyler, no. Oh, shit. Well, I'm giving that driver a one star rating. Yeah, but Jill's a champ, she can take it. Ooh, synth music. Sorry. I mean, shit's about to get colorful real fast. Now I'll press X to start the tape deck. We're here in the dogs to find her. Start, damn it. I'm trying. It's there we my go. Turn, bitch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, run him over. Oh. <laughs> Am I holding R2 to drive or am I holding R2 to choke? Either way. Oh. oh, press square to safe word. Well, at least the tape deck stopped playing. Girl, got time to time and wait for tomorrow. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Coming to the Megadome, it's Grave Digger. Hey, fuckface. <laughs> uh, fuckface says what? Yeah, homeboy's doing it like Roman candles on 4th of July. Yo, wrinkle nuts! Oh, right in the meatloaf neck. Oh, it smells like burnt chorizo. Hey, easy, lady. I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Name's Carlos. And I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. What, like a bed, bath, and beyond? Anyways, let's go to Wiener Schnitzel. Chili dogs on me. I promise you're in good hands. With Allstate. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. BCS for short. The improv school? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Language, Jill. What are you talking about? We're just here to help. Yeah, like Amazon or Walmart. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. Don't you watch Vice? Your company is responsible for infecting everyone. Look, I'm gonna send you a link to a video. It's called Everything Wrong with Umbrella in 30 Seconds. And you're a corporate whore. How dare you? Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Fine young lady, you're being a total white knight right now. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? You blew it, my turn. She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Chicken stars. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Jill something something. Nice to meet you, Jill. Nailed it. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Ugh, flaming hot Cheetos give me bubble guts. How's that going for you? We are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. Even though they're totally useless. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. Jill, they need a hero. They're holding out for a hero to the end of the night. All right. Well, I gotta be strong and I gotta be fast. I'm in. More survivors. We've gotta get that train moving. Mm, train, keep it moving. Oh, not low. All right, quick step. Little football maneuvers. 
The Texas two step. Now we're trip. Oh, god damn it. Oh, yeah, that worked real good. That's perfect. Yes. Uh, do I got a dog in my inventory? I can make him pee on the hydrant? Nope. Oh, here we go. Yeah. There it is. Oh. I'm not going to take any chances to stab this dude in the head. Man, that's unnecessary. Yeah. Ooh, there it is. His name's Robert Paulson. All right, I got the fire hose. That'll totally fit in my fanny pack. Sausage roll. Cool, it's a fancy box. Maybe there's some ammo in there. And nope, it's a red jewel that'll probably stick in some tiger's eyeball or some shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, damn it. Get off me. Oh, no, that's perfect. Yes, that's awesome. Yes, multiple partners is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, you don't need your head. You don't need your kneecaps. There you go. Do a barrel roll. Backdraft, rated R. Don't let go, boo. Okay, I'm gonna need some zigzags and some swishers for these green herbs I'm carrying. You see us? Yeah, careful, careful. What? It's shrinkage. I was in the pool. Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an effective. Okay, no, 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 wait, please! No! Man, this first episode of Ozark is intense. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Infected, schmected. Oh, stars, this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? I believe in nothing, Lebowski. Would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. The same place where your head is, right up your ass. Go back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. You know what else has a bleeding heart? Your mom's back tattoo, you silver-haired... Oh, never mind, he's gone. Snip, snip. Shotgun! And we'll just grab this guy's box, and nothing will totally happen. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Just smells like beefaroni and... Jack links. Okay, so here we go. Open up the box. Hopefully it's the lockpicks. Yes. The master of unlocking is ready to roll. It's Spider-Man. Oh, this is awesome. Wait a minute. You smell something? Raid! Uh, uh. That's not my hand. Uh, Carl's Jr., am I right? All right, ooh. Oh, my tummy rumbly, boo. All right, showing this green herb, turning into a sexual tyrannosaurus, boo. Oh, God damn it! Where you at? Yeah, there it is. Take that guy. Oh, no, you don't. Little barrel roll. That's enough of your bullshit, sir. Snap into a slim jim. Ugh, this fucking guy. He's bringing down the property value now. He'll buy it dirt cheap later. Then he's gonna turn into an IPA brewery that sells $20 street tacos. Holy shit! Woo! Cinnamon roll! Carlos! That thing is still alive! It's after me! He wants my lucky charms. Run! Come back to the station! There's a DJ here and everything! Not until I get traffic control online. Uh, no problem, because the instructions are right there and they should be crystal clear and I don't see any reason why this should be hard at all. Please enter our route. Uh Valid route confirmed. Bitty bitty bomb bomb. Carlos, it's me. I finished him putting the subway room. Chill, you are amazing. It's the one-way zombie train to Flavor Town! Here's a lockpick. Maybe you, the master of unlocking, can put it to good use. Ooh, crabhead! Looks like one of those dudes from part four. And he's dead, so. Clever girl. Come on. Not again. Quick, the mall's closing. Let's go to Sabaro's. No. It's me he's after. Nope. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Carlos, buy me a calzone and a Sierra no. Mist. No! You didn't give me any money! Oh, here we go. Come on, you creepy! Ah! Oh man, you took her a moment from her. Come on now. Okay, time out. Roll back. Oh, she was gonna say her famous stars line! And he ruined it! See, here's everything wrong with Umbrella. Number one, how dare you? Number two, ah, uh, never mind. Let's move on. All right, kick this gate open. Oh, you need a hand with that? Oh, yeah. All right, I got your number here. 
Yeah, take a seat, Sonny. Steal your briefcase. Now's my chance. Yeah, kick it, kick it. Or pull it, eh, whatever hurts. Yeah, die hard it. Wrong Jill, wrong place, wrong time. And right into the cuck of water. Oh, God. I'm definitely burning these clothes. <laughs> oh, these guys. All right, back it up, back it up. Oh, hell yeah. Open wide. We'll taste this action. Rawr. Nom, 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 nom. Right in his eyeball, or his tongue, or his leg, or whatever. All right, another one of these guys. A little fire scarecrow. All right, back up. Oh. Oh, god damn it. Ugh. All right, grenade launcher, San Francisco treat. All right, let's get some payback. This will not suffice. You like barbecue? How you like your ribs? <laughs> yes. Yes, my friends. Yes, my friends. Yes, yes. Oh, stop it. He's dead already. <laughs> and now it really smells like bird shitty, so. Oopsie daisy. Flamethrower. All right, here we go. Right in his kneecaps. Or get barbecued. That's cool. And let's smoke this clown. Oh, you gonna dodge my trash? Come on now. And barbecue roll. And grenade launcher in the taint. Perfect. Yes. 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 Grandpa's flash frying a turkey for the first time. Oh my god! No shit. I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. Jill McLean! Parry! Dodge! Turn! Spin! Thrust! Ow. Oof, right in the cheesecakes. Whoa! Uh. Okay, this officially sucks. I'm not Laura Croft. I'm not Laura Croft. I'm not Laura Croft! Ah! Okay, I'm Laura Croft. No shit. Yikes. She almost put a rip in Death's design. Man, this gritty reboot of Love Actually is the shit. So, what do you think? For me, looking back at the original, Resident Evil 3 was damn good, and I loved to replay it. And while this remake is missing a few things I would have liked to have seen, it's still pretty damn good, and I'm totally gonna replay it. Like I said earlier, Resident Evil 2 Remake is a new favorite, and since Part 3 uses the same engine and pretty much the same excellent gameplay, it has a lot going for it. Classic zombies and mutations, big action pieces, and killer boss fights. We got two main characters. As you saw, we got Jill, and you'll eventually play as Carlos, who has a different arsenal and counters enemies with his dodge. Story wise, these characters are better handled for a fight than Claire and Leon from Part 2, and the gameplay tweaks reflect that. Very cool, but the game doesn't up the ante when it comes to the threats. For example, Part 3's relentless and destructive nemesis doesn't match the intensity and dread of the tyrant from Part 2. Resident Evil 3 is lean, mean, fast, and straightforward. Maybe to a fault. The original had a few more areas to explore, branching story paths and multiple endings. I miss those elements. Resident Evil 3 is really great, but doesn't quite live up to the previous game and feels more like an extension. I'm hoping there's more to come. Resident Evil 2 Remake had free DLC drops, and I'd like to see what Capcom brings for Part 3. Phoenix Wright, Raccoon City Attorney? Objection! I can only wish. Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for checking out this episode of My Neighbor Jess, You Saved My Life, featuring Resident Evil 3. Please let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And while you're at it, be sure to check out our other sketches, films, podcast previews, and more from me and my friends at Comedia Agogo. Let's hang out again. Let's play some more games. And it's like Jill Scott once said, when the night comes, do your tears fall like rain? Well, in the morning, they should like, comment, and subscribe. Two-piece. My neighbor Jess, and he likes to...